And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next viewer submitted deck. This is Zillion Shivana. That's right. We're going to be playing um, our Demacia Dragon with some time bombs. It's just kind of a nice little pairing here. It's a cool little uh, pairing. We're going to have some different fight spells because of Shivana, Screeching Dragon, you know, our dragon and stuff. So we'll have Siphoning Strike, Concerted Strike, and uh, Single Combat. And, uh, you know, obviously we get uh, Sharp Sight, of course, because we're playing Demacia, but then we even get like Quicksand. Like, I like Quicksand quite a bit. I think that's an underrated card. That one's going to be pretty cool. Scrying Sands could be like a surprise to people, and we can predict to find more time bombs and stuff like that. I don't know, just kind of combining a couple of decks, and it, it looks like a nice little uh, little thing that we're doing. We're going to have Ruin Dragon Guard and Dragon Chow to help out our dragons. Egghead Researcher makes some more dragons. Um, that's kind of about it, kind of doing all of that. So, looks pretty cool. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. It's going to be Zillion Shivana. We're going to head on over to Ranked and play five games. Okay, so we have, looks like a Bandle Tree deck with Poppy Kennen. So I did, hmm. All right, this is going to be kind of tough. Let's get some time bombs. We're not playing, I, I feel bad, you know, since we're playing against a Bandle Tree, but we're, we're not playing the Absolver in here that could give Overwhelm. And now I kind of wish we were. Let's skip. I don't think we need Ride Negation. Yeah, Nerf says the concept of, of playing cards to create another card is almost ironic. It devalues the whole point of a card game where you play and use your cards wisely. Yeah, you're not wrong there, right? Because, yeah. When cards just replace themselves, you don't need to use them too wisely. Yeah, so it does kind of... Dropped something. I dropped everything. Hmm. Somebody give us a Shivana. There's a Shivana. We're drawing a lot of cards early. Wait. Thanks to these Preservariums. Time is winding. Like a walk. We do have eight time bombs in our deck, but of course they also have Star Spring. Play Screeching Dragon this round so we can play Shivana with single combat slash sharp sight available. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. I don't know why I'm attacking with the 1-4. That's a really bad attack. Just kill me. Because of Star Spring. I just kind of did that naturally. Wait up. Yeah, that was a useless attack. Okay, never mind. It was good now. I love Zillion eating those removal spells in instead of, you know, like the Screeching Dragon Shivana, so I'm very happy about that. So many two mana multi region allies they could certainly play. Like that pain. Dragon blood is the massive heart. They are nothing. 
combining um, Dragon Chow with Vanguard Redeemer is pretty cool, though. That does two. I'm just gonna let it happen. Now I take to the sky. I've trained my whole life for this. It's kind of weird that we haven't seen any time bombs yet. There we go. I was gonna say there's eight of them in the deck. Think you're fast? Cute. Hmm. When we look ahead. We know how to prepare. They went from four to eight real quick. Ah, uh, really need another time bomb, of course. What is this? Create a gem? All right, so it looks like GG Bandle Tree. There is nothing like that pain. I would have had the plus two, plus one with right, overwhelm and everything, but I don't. GG Bandle Tree. GGs. I will not forget this. Okay, another landmark deck. Let's send it all back. Let's try to find our Shivana earlier. Two again, looking for Shivana or Time Bomb, but Shivana mostly. I guess we'll take Time Bomb. Because I don't really know what Time Bomb is going to really do for us. Ah, a paradox! At another time, we might have been friends. All right, please draw Shivana. Come on, Shivana. Mm. Oh, I was right there. Should have played the Dragon Garden. Man, two of those things. As I'll know, that's you know probably the best card in their deck because it really sets up everything else. Things a little rough. Ouch. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. Okay. 
the dragon's rage draws to get out. There is nothing like that pain. Alright, pretty big Shavana. Break them. There's no reason not to attack with Shavana. They block with you know like a 3-3. So like they block with the 3-3, get a landmark, then they play the 2-4 that blows up the landmark. Oh, they have mini morph. Well, mini morph makes life a lot worse. Right of negation could be good. If they have something crazy. Hmm. I should have just waited, I guess. A moment in time. Because this fizzles now. Yeah, now we don't even make it again. Oh, come on, it hurts the zillion? Why not hit the Chronomancer? Oh, it still makes another Siphoning Strike? Okay. Okay, okay. I thought that because it, would, it was going to fizzle, they wouldn't. But still did. Acathia needs my friend. Oh, so you don't get the plus two, plus two? Alright, so so you revive it and then give it plus three, plus three instead. I feel like I messed this game up. So I want to grow Zillion so Zillion doesn't die if this doesn't work to Zareth. Yeah, so those two die now. Oh, I kill Zillion. Man, Zareth is absurd. Oh no, really? Obviously, I should have just thrown this dragon chow out to die. Alright, man, own two. So, mini morph plus triple 
protection for Xerath. I don't know what I mean. This is slow. It's powerful, but slow. You want another Freljord deck? You can play the Braum Swain. We played that yesterday. The video went out today on YouTube. It felt really good. If you want another that style of deck, Freljord, you know, because you said you like Anivia and Thralls. It's another Avalanche deck. I know what lurks in the shadows. I do like the Dragon Guard. You know, like the, this Dragon Guard being a 3 4 is huge. Like, it does match up well against uh, Fearsome. They're deciding whether or not to kill the Dragon Chow or not. Okay. Um, that's impressive. It's impressive that kills the Dragon Chow, yet also, you know, growing their attackers is very good. Battlecaster. Alright, so that thing's going to be big, but of course they're going wide. That's going to be the problem, and leading with Onlooker is a little strange, but um, yes, they got another one there, and now we have to really worry about uh, Frenzied Skitter. Kind of would have made sense to like lead with Frenzied Skitter, I guess, because then you get the Nightfall in the two. Okay, they got Doombies. So, we... so block, block, we go down to four. Not the best place we could be. Alternatively, we can go block, block. Still go down to four, but keep that thing alive. Like I said, a slow hand, but a powerful hand, but they did end up having a pretty fast hand, unfortunately. Don't think we have any Nexus healing in here. No, we do not. I don't think we can make a dragon that has Nexus healing. Oh, or can we? Or can we? Oh, come on. I was about to heal my Nexus one. Rude. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Pantheon. All right, Zach, let's try to do a little better. Uh, there's... I don't know, like, all this is, like, pretty playable, right? Like, early on, but, like, they just play, like, Big Dragon, kind of kill us. But, like, individually, I like each one of these. I guess we'll send the researcher back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely feeling pretty good today. Peace is a trail painted with blood. All right, let's lead with. Z yeah, yeah, we'll go lead. So.
So Zillion into Dragon Guard into Shivana. No, I think we're just going to take this Quicksand. Like, Quicksand's a really, really good quality spell uh, in these Demacia mirrors, especially like how they can have a bunch of keywords and stuff like that. So probably just going to be saving up my, saving up my spell mana here. Wish they would have made, I don't know, some kind of different sound effect for the Wounded White Flame. It's my least favorite part about this card is the sound effect. Also, it should be a 2-3, not a 2-4 to start with. Because it gets so big because of Faded anyway. It doesn't need to start with 4 health. But anyway. The... I serve my people with pride. Sound effect could have been better. Yeah, exactly. With yeah, four is already huge. Like without faded, like four is like as big as you're going with three drops anyway. Like with faded, like there's there's no there's no reason at all why they should have printed this card with four health with also with faded. It just doesn't doesn't even make sense. You're covered. Uh yeah. So the okay. So the the two D's by here means they were viewer submitted donation decks. So these were all viewer submitted decks and deck ideas today uh, I didn't I didn't build any of these I I did switch up a few cards in each one um, but yeah these are all from viewers that donated to see them play <laughs> yeah you want to be able to kill this with a get excited the white flame that'd be nice So a bunch of fury everywhere, a bunch of dragons. You would think that we would have the better dragons considering we have the dragon champion and the five mana challenger dragon, and they only have three mana dragons, but their dragons are kind of better. Crazy world we live in. That they're like, you know what, Shivana and Screeching Dragon are amazing, and... Uh, you know, really hard to beat. So you know what? Let's let's print a better dragon that costs less mana. Look live in this timeline. We're sure to save Ikathia. Hey Mordecai, get another tie for the collection. Love it. Thank you, Mordecai. Thanks for continuing that support. So they got two cards left. Only one card left. Obviously that dragon pretty big, but only, you know, like, card-wise they don't have very many. Because they're playing regions that don't, I mean, they could have played Loping Telescope, I, was, I guess. I was going to say they don't have Manifest, but I guess they could have Loping Telescope. I'm gonna play the Vanguard Redeemer here. Remember the fallen. All right, more Shivanas. More Shivanas, never a bad thing. Man, 
I kind of want to just take the pass. Like, maybe I should sh should just take the pass while we can. Considering putting the Confront on the Egghead Researcher and challenging the Seeker and then just having the others attack. Let's see, that'd be 10, 12, 13. Would Psy Scout be broken if it always predicted a landmark? Do not test me. No, I don't think so. Like, so you're saying, like, no? I mean, considering how good all these Manifest cards are. Like, if you just, if you didn't have Elusive, if, if it was just, like, predict a landmark in your deck. So that, like, then you could find Time Bombs. I don't think that would be broken. Just attack all the way. It's only it's like two damage different if they want to block the three three. Are you the one? And so now by not doing that, I have a backup Shivana for if this one dies. Um I actually kind of really like the Zillion. Or the Zillion Champion spell. Looking like we're getting our first win. Get to put a mark in the win column. Follow some of your shadows, demon. All right, and there we go. That will do. We got a win. One and three. Gangplank says one e. All right, we're going with game number five here. It's kind of game number five. We were going to, we just played against another Demacia Targon that we were going to win, but my opponent conceded pretty early, and so it wasn't really that good of a game. So we're going to play another one. So it's kind of like we're two and three, going for a three and three, because we we're definitely going to win the game. Anyway, it's risky keeping the dragon Chow without a dragon. I don't want to do it though. I never uh, on the tree. So unfortunately they had this one drop and not the Jagged Butcher. Like that's the thing, is like they had the attack token round one, and like if they have like dr dragon uh jagged butcher, sorry, then we could like block with the dragon chow, that would have been nice. Let's look for Shivana. No Shivana. Time is winding. Well, let's go and skip. Oh. Their hands looking pretty good. So three rounds, three damage for leveling up their champions. They can just stack with the 2-2. Two, two. This is where we need to draw our Shivana, please. Shivana, please. No, wrong champ. Oh. This is why creating random stuff's better than manifesting. Because obviously we manifest, like, we find, like, a four or five mana dragon and, like, our hand's perfect. But, like, create random. You don't get that luxury. I'll have a breakthrough. Let's get to it. 
Screeching Dragon can kill this uh, monkey at all. Which I think that's what we're going with. You and I have met before, haven't we? You own what you take. Alright, so we gotta go for the crack shot course there, because obviously we can't. Uh, killed the monkey idol now. And... Doesn't look good. Agonizing, I know. Not looking good. I tried. There is nothing like that pain. Again, only two cards. Another monkey idol. Come on. Now, man. All right, yeah. Chat says I think you have to try to kill Sejuani. We so like Vi. All right, so if we attack with Viper Worm, they no, there's no reason to. Like it could be a seven four basically. Find no reason to do that though. You find a fight spell. Haven't I been here before? I mean, concerted strike's a fight spell, I guess. Like, should I take the concerted strike or should we go? Should we go with the time bomb? And then we go time bomb, time bomb. I probably just have to take the concerted strike, right? Did I yeah, I probably just again? have to take concerted. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. And then concerted strike the gangplank. I am reborn of salt and pride. All those do double damage. Don't touch it. Just a moment. There is nothing like that pain. 
But maybe I'll just sneak back into this. Oh. Man, you know that's going to be just some spell that's going to kill me now. Yeah, I'm hoping it's like parlay. Yeah, so I'm hoping it's parlay they can't cast yet. I know. Okay, it was, so we go down to four. Now, we gotta hope they just draw a generic unit. You know, Jagged Butcher, Mirai Warden, you know, just some unit. Jagged Butcher would be good. Maybe I should just be taking the pass and playing stuff, but obviously, like, if they had stuff, they, they wouldn't just pass anyway, so. Smoke, ash, and dragon fire. I'm gonna play another Catra Grin! Yeah, then we drew the single combat also. Perfect. So that didn't even level up. You know, that was only... That Cadrigan only dealt 11, so I didn't level up the Shivana. But there we go. Okay. This time, the dragon wins with Lady Lexmas. Why not open attack? Because... Did you see what I had? I had a Dragon Chow and a Kadragrin. That's like way cooler than open attacking. But no, like what was my best play to winning the game was probably open attacking, yes. But, I mean, come on, it's Kadragrin. Like, how many times have we actually cast Kadragrin? And then we have a Dragon Chow with it? So yeah, I was, I was doing that. Alright, so I ended up with a 2 and 3. Um, you know, not as bad. Uh, Okay, th those first games, you know, like, we ran into some really hot opponents and stuff like that. I think our deck was was just fine. You know, I, I, I do. I think that it, I would probably expect to be going between 2-3 three, and 3-2 three, most every time playing this. Um, I think that I, I would probably expect to have, like, a little bit over 50% win rate playing this deck. So, not like, abs not, like, absolutely amazing. But I think it's just fine. And it's much more powerful whenever you have Shivana for sure. Um, as we talked about, like, at the beginning of that last game, too, it's kind of like three and three, because we were, like, we did play, like, that, uh, that game number five, would, I'm not putting it up on YouTube, because, like, my opponent conceded, like, in, like, turn, like, round four, um, but, like, we were definitely going to be winning that. We had, like, a Shivana hand that was good and stuff, so. I guess they did kill my Shivana on four, didn't they? They, they conceded, like, five or six. I don't know. They conceded pretty early, but I was very confident that we were going to win the game. Anyway, so it was kind of like a three and three. Not too much to change about the deck moving forward, I don't think. Uh, we did lose the first game to Bandle Tree, where uh, that's like a kind of matchup that if we would have had the Absolver, we would have won. Um, so the Absolver could be kind of good, but it's it's tough. Like it's it's not real easy to level up your champions, and it's it's kind of like a. I feel like the Absolver is a, a win more type card, except for against a deck like the Bandle Tree that just wants to block and then play Bandle Tree. Like that's like the one matchup where you really want Absolver. So if you really want Absolver, you can you can play one over like a Scrying Sands uh, if you want. I think that's that's probably the card that I recommend putting it in for. But uh, yeah. Pretty nice little Demacia Predict deck. Pretty fun one to play. So if you want to play some dragons, but you want to do something a little different, you want to play some Zillion with some dragons, try this out. It's Zillion Shivana. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know uh, how you like the deck and just how you like the videos, all that kind of stuff. If you got other deck ideas that you'd like to see built for stream, let me know over there on YouTube as well. And of course, if you play the deck yourself. Always just love seeing any of those comments. You got any, any comments about your day, anything, put them in the comment section. And, and whenever I got time, I will reply. But that's going to be it for Zillion Shivana. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.